The Karamoja region has a population of about 1 million people who are traditionally pastoralists who live in the most deprived and chronically food insecure part of Uganda. This food insecurity is propagated by unpredictable climate and low rainfall, which leads to low or poor crop yields and sell of the little foodstuff that is grown and harvested. This has resulted into major malnutrition challenges among the population, especially children and women. Hence, a common greeting occurs to mean, I am hungry, please help. We were experiencing a lot of defaults, a lot of death rates, and the tracing number going down. The health center reports to us that they always refer, but these mothers would not reach. If others come in, they reach up with a statement saying, I cannot stay here for all this long caring for one child. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, with funding from UK Aid, has partnered with Doctors with Africa, QAM, and the World Food Programme, WFP, to support the integrated management of acute malnutrition in Karamoja. The goal of this programme, which began in 2014, has been to scale up coverage prevention and treatment interventions targeting malnourished children under five, pregnant and lactating mothers using an integrated health systems approach under the Enhancing Karamoja Resilience Program. We are supporting facilities to provide the inpatient and outpatient management of malnutrition at the severe stage. Through UNICEF, we are able to provide the ready-to-use therapeutic feeds and then the formula feeds that we give to these children who are severely malnourished. We build capacity of health workers to be able to provide the services and then monthly we go to the facilities to, to do support supervision. Uh, and the VFP, we, we do target the, the moderate food insecure uh, cases at the community and even at the unity health unit level. And that's where we, our, our uh, interventions that are linked those that we, we can't manage at, at the community level are referred to the referral uh, hospital or even the health centers where uh, UNICEF manages them. And even when they are re released from the health center, they come back through us at the community level uh, under our community-based supplementary feeding program. <laughs> This integrated systems approach to nutrition supports prevention and treatment interventions that include behavior change communication on nutrition at facility and community level, by vitamin A supplementation and deworming of children under five years, through child health days and enrolling children that are severely malnourished under the inpatient therapeutic feeding program which is now available in 118 health facilities across the Karamoja region. And given the large area, we have a nutrition specialist based in our office to provide the districts with that backup. UNICEF has provided technical support to this program through the established government health systems to promote best feeding practices, timely identification, admission and treatment of severely malnourished children through coordination and planning of health and nutrition, capacity building of health workers and supply chain management for nutrition commodities. When you go to our health units, the number of those ones that would come to seek for health services, especially on nutrition has come down, it is not finished, but it has come down as compared to before. Despite the tremendous effort in addressing malnutrition through prevention and treatment, dietary diversity remains one of the most challenging priorities of the region. UNICEF with UK aid and other donors will continue to engage key stakeholders across sectors and communities to identify more locally sustainable solutions to address this challenge for future programs.